In a 2017 post by Riot, they state, Our goal is to make champions players enjoy, whether that means everyone wants to play them or a select few wants to main them. We're happy with either, but the only thing we don't want to do is make a champion who ends up being unpopular. We always want our time and effort to result in characters that players think are awesome and are excited to play. In this post they showcase some popularity graphs in which our Leon Souls, Karner and Leah were placed in the unpopular category. I believe this unpopularity is an effect of the fact that they need quality of life changes. Skarner Spires, Tlia Worked Ground and W and our Lone Souls W are some examples of unique but perhaps annoying or clunky to use abilities. Hello, I'm Drumat, a Grandmaster Tlia OTP and likely the only dedicated YouTuber that plays her since launch and been through all changes. Today we will take a look at the possible reasons of why Riot does not do massive changes to Talia or other champions. This is not going to be a rant of a Talia main, we're gonna let feelings aside and we'll try to look objectively at the issue, the problem and its solutions. Lately we've seen on PBE a series of buffs for Talia for the first time in the past two years. Those buffs were about armor Q working round size reduction for general Tilia players, lane and non-lane, and damage reduction removal against jungle camps. Out of those three changes, only the last one survives sparking anger in the hearts of the majority of the Tilia mains population. Why Riot decided against these buffs or other buffs? Why Riot does not seem to care about Tilia at all? Generally, when deciding to buff, nerf or change a champion, I think they take in consideration four possible reasons or a combination of them. The first reason is that they are extremely afraid to buffer considering last times they did so. They tried to change her in many ways and failed every time and now they might see it as a waste of time. The second reason is that because Talia is the least played champion there are, fewer complaints and the community voice isn't that hard to stop or defer. Same with Skarner and our Leon Soul. The third reason, which might be a consequence of those above, they thought things would magically fix themselves by the new runes from the past season or the new items from this season. The fourth reason is that she is unpopular and unpopular means no money and with a reduction in Talia's player base population they have no reason to change her because they have no reason to add skins because only skins brings them cash and for a free to play game that matters a lot. What does the community want though? How do we address this? They either want buffs or quality of life changes. I find myself in the second group for lane Talia but judging by the win rate of jungle Talia, she definitely needs buffs. The community would also likely enjoy if Talia can be played and all roles, on all roles and is not forced on only one jungle, for example. I've seen this being asked in numerous posts already about Talia on Reddit League of Legends. One main argument against lane buffs people speak in some posts that I always see is that if she's buffed, she'll be again a perma push champion. The mid lane has changed to be against roamers and likely for the past two years there existed other champions that already do what they don't want Talia to become. Tiamat Talon, Tiamat Nocturne, Twisted Fate, even Galio at some points of the game can push as fast as Talia if not better because of the mana costs. Most AP mages or AP assassins can match Talia's push levels and most of them play with teleport, a thing Talia players cannot do because of the general lack of damage, so if they are doing it right, they can just counter roams with a good teleport and you already broke Talia. Currently if you main Talia mid right now, you know she's unplayable against Zed, Katarina or Fizz and perhaps some other champions. They kill easily, they farm safely, they win most of the time any trades because of their impossible to counter dashes and unless you roam first and roam good, they don't have to take even half as many risks. 
Compared to a Twisted Fate or Galio, you don't have a stun that's relatively easy to hit or the tankiness, so you'll struggle much more harder than them on mid. If you main Tilia jungle, then you'll know that armor buffs are insanely needed against most of the meta champions. Zix, Graves, Rengar, Hecarim can easily destroy you even with the clear buff. With the faster clear buff, I mean. Practically, without the armor, they are forcing the Tlia jungle to hide from the enemy jungler every single time and force her into Seeker's arm guard, which they also nerfed. Besides the buffs discussion, I believe quality of life changes are mandatory in my opinion. For most of her life, Tlia has lost a lot of features, probably most in the game, and has been gated behind some nasty mechanics such as her word ground lock, her W being so insanely clunky to use, and her E dealing almost no damage to dashes. She lost a lot of features and combined with the fact that she's weak, a small culling of the Tlia main's population has been created and continues. Because of her current strength levels and clunkiness, I dare to say for a beginner, she's one of the hardest champions to learn, as how easily she can get overrun by most champions. This further keeps and ensures the low play rate and doesn't attract that many people, making her a very, very niche champion. An argument that I hear often is that she has a 55% win rate in mid, bot, wherever, but this is for an insanely low amount of people, not enough to consider the stats. In general, you can't make a scientific paper without lots of proof and a rather large sample. I personally understand why they don't want to change more than one thing at a time, but don't do a small uneventful change and then disappear for the next two years again. What Riot should do is incremental quality of life changes for lane to Leah and buffs for the jungle. Quality of life changes such as maybe vision back on her ultimate, Twisted Fate has global vision on his ultimate, or a less clunky to use W rework, or an E that actually punishes dashes, or size reduction, elimination of ward grounds, or legit any other ideas because there are other ideas, there are tons of other ideas on Tulia means I've seen it over the years, and there are very good, some of very good ideas that could be used. We have the PBE to test stuff, so why not introduce a lot of tryout changes and see which one works eventually. The popularity of Tulia and her playstyle will never increase if she's given no chance to begin with. So let's start there. Thank you very much for watching this.